Welcome back to Shield Wall. So we showed off the heat-seeking missile catapults <laughs> in the Battle of Dirichium. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm not, I don't speak Latin. And while that was introducing the new mechanic of these catapults of siege equipment, it was kind of a very classic Shield Wall style battle. But level seven is gonna incorporate some totally different gameplay styles than we've seen before. Here's the key line. Unlike many of the other battles of the Civil War, this was more a campaign of maneuver than actual fighting, which I presume is pitched battles. So we've got reinforcements, right? And there's the reinforcing wave. And if we look at the map, we're starting here at Alpha. Our reinforcement wave is gonna come along this path here to attack Bravo. So what we need to do is join them. Now, I don't have a lot of money, so I'm gonna use this right now so that I can build up a force of, say, 10 men, because it looks like there's a group of Gauls, some Germanic barbarians. Well, I mean, they're barbarians according to the Romans, but they were quite civilized, in my personal opinion. So, oh shoot, <laughs> I stabbed one of our friends here. So we're gonna be joining this battle. Here we go. And I'm gonna be spearing these guys, and my men are running in here because we're gonna try to take this flag early. And it looks like that was the difference. Me and the allies were able to take this flag, and so now only three of them survived and uh, nine of us survived. But you'll see that over there is a veritable fortress, and out from that fortress, well, is going to come some opposing armies. There's one of them right now. And you'll notice by looking at his helmet, it's like, did you guys ever watch the movie Gladiator with Russell Crowe? Because that's like his helmet. Did I spear one of them? I did! I'm getting headshots on headshots on headshots. And with the very limited gold that I do have, I'm gonna be trying to get some reinforcements here. So the three allies are also here. Hold on, is there still dude up? I saw a purple flag just hanging out. Now one of the things I wanna do is get some defenders. Now they cost 20, so I'll be able to buy two or three. And then I'm gonna tell these guys here to guard this because we're expecting another attack presently. But what I need to do is maneuver around the map. The map was called, hey, Baron, you might want to maneuver. So we're gonna go from Bravo over to A, cross this bridge and try to hit this farmland. And there's another little fortress. And if it's unguarded, I might be able to put some defenders to hold that as well. So what I'm gonna do is hold the line here and absorb another attack on my little outpost fortress here. I don't know when it's gonna come, and I really hope that these three guys survive. Uh, they're actually, I think they're legionnaires. They kind of look like they're wearing plate armor, or chainmail, you know? So they're wearing a little bit of armor, and they've got like the better shield, so those might be upgraded soldiers. But you'll notice that the enemy, their gold production in their castle is 120. So right now they're doubling our gold rate, which adds to team points, so we are going to have to stop that. I'm going on a raiding mission. Oh, actually, hold on. I will lead this defense. I will lead this defense, gentlemen. I'm sending the blue guys in first, though. So what we do is we have our guards just impaling them with the pylum. Pylum, pylum. Our little, our little throwing spears. Look at this. These guys are getting turned into porcupines. And not the good kind. Oh, wow. So if I press R to attack, the guards go to attack, too. So everybody's still alive. Okay, everybody hold there. I've got to go on this mission. So essentially what we're doing is, we're going on a little bit of journey. Mr. Frodo, if I take one more step, I'll be the furthest from home I've ever been. Ooh, and purple's already attacking again. I think that the enemy has two generals. So it's a good thing that we bought like nine defenders because they should be able to hold off. But essentially what we have to do is go take this farmland, which is going to be very difficult to hold. And I'm not really going to bother trying with it. But what I will try to do is hold the other little fortress on the other side of the city, the walled city. Yeah, it looks like purple's actually retreating and all nine of my defenders are still alive. If you look in the upper or the lower right, rather, there's the eight and the nine. The nine is the number of defenders we have and the eight is the number of soldiers that we have, not including our AI. So coming over here to take this farm is pretty key in the early steps. And I'll buy like one or two guys once we take this flag because you can see how slow the capturing is when it's just you as the general. The more men you have, the faster it gets captured. You can see a, a raiding party by the purple over there. They're already getting hit though. You can see many of them falling. All right, we'll buy a few soldiers. That is the limit. Oh, they've got some defenders on this side of the wall. Hey, 
Uh oh, hopefully that didn't summon all my soldiers. Oh my god, it did. I think, I think it did. Oh, okay, those guys are gonna commit Sudoku against the walls. These guys were heading over there and they're gonna try to take the short route. So needless to say, we have to get back to our castle. So the gold rate is starting to turn in our favor. Right now it's equal, but once we take this, we will have more gold production than the enemy will. And I guess the good thing of my guys committing Sudoku over there is the fact that I'm going to be able to put a few guards on these walls. So I'm gonna purchase two guards here and hope that that's enough. Hopefully it doesn't get attacked or maybe that's a little bit of a deterrent. If they look over there and they're like, oh, that's a, that's a red fortress. It doesn't have a gate, like there's a wall there, but it doesn't have doors that close, unfortunately. All right, so the other thing we're gonna do is get the standard main sign and we're gonna increase gold per minute up by 30%, which is absolutely massive. So now at this point, we're seven minutes in, we still have what, 20, or excuse me, 33 minutes to try to take that castle? And uh oh, there's purple attacking right now. Hopefully they don't take it, because that would be very problematic for our chances of victory. Wow. Defenders are excellent when they're on walls. That enemy force didn't kill anybody. So this is going to give us the time to kind of build up our forces. So that means we are increasing the number of units we're going to bring out to bear. And so now my gold rate is 78 right here at this one. So that, that's what, a, a 198 total? Unless all three of them are producing at 78? I'm not entirely sure. Oh, the enemy retook the fortress of Delta over there. Maybe there wasn't enough guards. Well, we're gonna head on back there and buy a few more guards this time. Echo is currently being attacked, which is this farmland here. I'm not sure if I have the soldiers to take on a full force. Their commander was a little over eager to probably get back inside those walls and maybe attack the other fort. So this should be quick and easy. Yeah, but we can't have them retaking these points. So our garrison of two soldiers just wasn't enough. We're probably gonna need like maybe four. So we'll march through uh, whatever kind of orchard that is. Like what was, what was famous in Roman times food-wise? It looks like our guys are throwing over there. Please hold the line. Oh man, look at that. The gates are open, makes you wonder. I feel like maybe attacking from this side is a good idea if our army can hold on the other side. What I'm going to do is go on a raid. We've got a lot of gold here and we're retaking this point. So maybe I'm gonna use this as my home base. There's only two guards on this side and there's three on the other one. Bravo is under attack, huh? Let's just hope they can hold. And it's also kind of good that the enemy's attacking that. All right, so we're gonna be taking multiple pylum here. So we have upgraded gate attack values, but this is kind of where I wish you could go and spawn in a battering ram or something like that from your flag point. I wonder if we can do that. Yeah, Bravo held. Seven, we did lose one guard it looks like. Oh, and I think I see purple people on the other side of this. Let's see. Oh shoot, charge! We'll blow the uh, horn and see. We're out of range of the pylum. I think we're losing this battle. Wait a minute, we won. We won this battle? We won this one? No, come with me. Oh my God, we're gonna take this flag. Oh no, we're not. Oh no, we're not. Come with me, escape, escape, everybody escape. We need to rebuild our forces. But we have a ton of gold, so I'm thinking spearmen. We'll bring in spearmen this time and see how good they are. Cause I haven't used them in a while. We gotta watch out for the multiple pylums. Only three of us made it out and look at them. Everybody's got blood on their cheeks from that glorious battle. Uh oh, we're definitely gonna need reinforcements. Oh, they pulled back. All right. Let's go back in before they finish repairing the gate walls. So 18 spearmen are on me. Oh no, they're guarding the gate. Maybe we'll win in the, in the tight confines of these gates. All right, we'll blow the war horn. So hopefully that boosts our men. I can't tell if we're winning or not. Ooh, our, our, we went up by one point. I'm thinking gold is what we want. I think we attack slower, but we defend better. All right, we'll call in a retreat because it looks like the second general was right there. So maybe that wasn't the ticket. Let's buy legionaries. Once more, I'm just sacrificing my soldiers to try to break in. We'll blow the war horn, which should... Oh, and look, we're actually almost taking over them. So maybe I'm thinking we want damage because we're trying to break in, right? Wow, legionaries just whoop these guys. All right, so they're holding... 
Oh, man. I was going to see if we couldn't. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That guy, like, dodged it. Uh oh, I need reinforcements. Yeah, there's definitely two generals. There's definitely two generals here. Oh, there's my brave standard bearer. No, you guys gotta, you guys gotta give me a retreat. Sorry, you fought bravely. I love you all, but I must move. I must survive. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh no! Oh man, I almost died because of the, the guards. We broke through. We just with two generals, it keeps us from being able to capture it. How many men can I hire and do I have the gold? Okay. I wish in Formata, you used to be able to just like click any unit you wanted instead of be the general. I wish I could see what is happening at Bravo. It would kind of give you a little bit of help too against the AI who can multitask. That was always the nice thing about Formata that allowed you to keep up with the AI. All right, we have enough to replace most of our army. So once more into the breach, the gates are closed. I think maybe what we do is attack it. Oh, wait, what if I could pile on these guys? Did we hit him? No, we didn't. <laughs> we didn't hit him. So how good are my legion against these dudes? We're carving them up. Uh, looks like we're losing, but if I can... Hey! If I can kill that general. Our standard bear went up, so we'll be able to upgrade damage. Yep, and then there's their reinforcements. All right, everybody out. Everybody out. <laughs> Which is just me and the standard bear. <laughs> and they've got their defensemen up again. Oh! No! Charles! Oh, he actually survived that? Wow. I'm very impressed. Very Roman of you to survive that long. We've broken through. On me, on me, on me. Oh man, see, there's the second general. Will this... Oh god, and there's a dude throwing spears from over there. Oh, I took a spear to the neck. I might have to run. I have to run. We contested the flag. Oh man. If we can keep them from retaking it... Okay, run. Run, I might die. Oh, shoot. Get him! <laughs> I love throwing spears from the flank. It's just the best. So they retook it, but we made better progress. I think I need healing aura, actually. Unfortunately, right now, I need to be healed up. Oh, look at... Oh, my God, what a spear throw. There's only a few of them here. We might be able to take it. Oh, I think that's... Oh, never mind. They were, they were hiding. Fight for your Caesar. I mean, you're Julius Caesar. I'm not like the Kaiser Caesar, you know what I'm saying? There he is. Okay, there's the other general. We're gonna take it. They can't do anything about it now. Oh, except that. <gasps> they can't do anything about it, he says. And then my AI wander off without finishing the capturing of that flag. That's, that's cool. Well, I'll bring reinforcements. Wait. Okay, good. I'm on the right flag. Oh, wait. My AI has captured Charlie. That means I don't think their generals can respawn. Oh, look! These are the last of the last. The last of the purple boys! Hit him with the pylum! <laughs> okay, hit one of them with the pylum. There we go, boys. There we go. Well, we have taken the fortress, actually. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. Our gold per minute on this flag is 168. It was originally 120, but with our standard bear giving 40% increased gold per minute, it's 168. Not that we need it, because I think now the game isn't over. I think we have to clear the walls. All right, guys. Wait, are they? They're retaking it. Hold on. Those sneaky freakies. I was going to go send communication. But you. Oh! Get him, boys. Get him. He's cutting us down. Ha ha! Okay, those were the last soldiers. They must have been the defenders. So it seems like at the. 10 minute mark we just had a very crucial recapturing of flag points and then after the 15 minute mark over here on team points we just could not be caught we killed so many more of them and hired far less gold rate was up but overall we've successfully won that battle so i'm going to show you guys if you're just tuning in and you miss the battle of the catapults i want to show them off to you real quick I hope this gets patched, because right now the, the, they're, like, insanely good, but... See that city over there? Watch what happens. Well, they fire like trebuchets, first off. But, uh, it's not good when they hit. And the enemy is in... They'll seek on me the entirety of the game. So if you guys want to see that, I released the video on Saturday. Here, let, let's show what happens when you get hit. So we're Testudo. Can a Testudo stop the catapult? Well, let's find out. Gentlemen, 
Hold! <laughs> I got immediately dead. Oh. And there's two other factions running around. The Greeks and then the Purple Romans. <laughs> it's awesome. Anyway, if you guys want to see that, check out Saturday's video. Or you could search Baron Shield Wall Catapult. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. If you're new, make sure to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video and you want to see more Shield Wall, pull the trigger on the like button. And I'll see you guys in the next video.